Baruch Adonai Havarach Le'olam Vaheh Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Bachabano Mikol Olamim Vanatan Lano Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Amen. This week's reading is taken actually from the parasha Acharei Mot. We're in the book of Leviticus with 16.1, okay? And we have our readers here. Yes, we can say, V'yedaber Adonai al Moshe, Ba'acharei mot shenei b'nei, Acharon b'katovrim l'fnei Adonai, Ve'amat b'tu. V'yomer Adonai el Moshe, Daber el Acharon, Ha'hiya v'al yavo, V'ol et el ha'kodesh, M'bet l'poret el p'nei ha'keporet, Asher ach Acharon v'lo yamut, Ki b'ana erah, Al Hakaparet, Bezot Yavo Acharon El Hakodesh, Befar Ben Bakar Le Chatat, Veohil Le Ola. And our reading and the translation. Sheila, are you here? Okay, Sheila, right here, please. Okay. Here. Here. And I don't know, I spoke no, to Mom. No, no, oh. Sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> then Adonai spoke to Moses after the death of the two sons of Aaron, when they approached the presence of Adonai and, and died. Adonai said to Moses, tell Aaron, your brother, not to come at just any time into the holiest place behind the curtain, before the atonement cover which is on the ark, so that he would not die. For I will be appearing in the cloud over the atonement cover. In this way should Aaron come into the sanctuary with a young bull for a sin offering and a ram for a burnt offering. It is to be a statue to you forever and in the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, you are to affect your, afflict your souls and do no kind of work. Both the native born and the outsider dwelling among you. For on this day, Adonai will be made for you to to cleanse you from all your sins, you will be clean before Adonai. It is a, it is a Shabbat of seldom rest for, to you, and you are to afflict your soul, souls. It is a statue forever. The Kohen who is anointed and who is consecrated to the coin in his father's place will make the atonement and put on the linen garments, the holy garments. And he, he is to make atonement for the holy sanctuary, for the tent of meeting for the altar for the coin and for all the people of the assemble. This will be an everlasting statue for you to make atonement for Beni Israel once a year. Because of all these sins, it was done as Adonai commanded Moses.
Is not this the fast I choose to release the bonds of wickedness, to untie the cords of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and tear off every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, to bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see the naked, to cover him and not to hide yourself from your own flesh and blood? Then the light will break forth like the dawn, and your healing will speed up, will spring up speedily. Your righteousness will go before you, the glory of Adonai as your rear guard. Then you will call, and Adonai will answer. You will cry, and he will say, Here I am. If you get rid of the yoke among you, finger pointing and bad mouthing, if you give yourself to the hungry and satisfy the desire of the afflicted, your light will rise in darkness and your gloom will be like midday. Then Adonai will guide you continually, satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. You will be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters never fail. Some of you will rebuild the ancient ruins, will raise up the age-old foundations. We will be called, will be called repairer of the breach, restorer of streets for dwelling. Amen. And from the Brit Hadasha, from the book of Romans, from 321, it says, But now God's righteousness apart from the Torah has been revealed, to which the Torah and the prophets bear witness, namely the righteousness of God through putting trust in Mashiach Yeshua. To all who we keep on trusting, for there is no distinction. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. They are set right as a gift of his grace through the redemption that is in Mashiach Yeshua. God set forth Yeshua as an atonement through faith in his blood to show his righteousness in passing over the sins already committed. Through God's forbearance, he demonstrates his righteousness at this present time, that he himself is just and also the justifier of the one who puts his trust in Yeshua. Gentlemen. And some black morning I'll take flight to the house of the rich.